Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the sentiment analysis in R. So sentiment analysis is the part of the text analytics and uh, in this particular domain we basically try to analyze uh, the you know the speeches or the words that people are talking about and whether they are feeling positive, negative or kind of a sentiment that they are feeling when they are talking about it is very useful uh, when you know trying to come up to a certain decision because uh, let's say for example you are a political leader and uh, you have a rally at a particular area and uh, before going to that area you really want to analyze uh, how people are feeling uh, in, in that area and uh, uh, whether they are feeling positive, negative, if positive, what are those positive, if negative, what are those negative, so that you can strategically uh, point out uh, the, their pain points or uh, their positive or negative things which they really want to hear about. Apart from this, in, a, you know, in companies, uh, we basically try to analyze from the perspective of um, comments that we are receiving uh, via different mediums. So, for example, Salesforce is, is something as a system, CRM system used in many companies and in that uh, salespeople really go in and update their opportunities with some comments about uh, how the information is moving on. So based on their comments, if uh, there is something, some negativity or some negative comments that you identify as a sales manager or a sales VP on your opportunities then you can basically have a proactive communication with your sales uh, field staff and uh, try to see why things are not going good in a particular opportunity or a group of opportunities and do a corrective action well in advance to take an advantage and uh, you know close the opportunity successfully so just to trying to give you an idea uh, how you can really use it uh, in a in a domain uh, in your respective domain so with that uh, let me go ahead and uh, start talking some of the basics about it and then we will move ahead to a little bit more advanced concept and before I move ahead just a quick information that if you are interested in learning ClickView you can visit my channel data and tools and if you are interested in uh, Tableau related tutorial, you can visit my another channel BI and programming tutorials where I am currently posting the Tableau videos. All right, let me go to R Studio and uh, show you the things in action. Here I have. So here is some of uh, the very basic examples I have uh, taken to develop a basic understanding about uh, sentiment analysis and the package that we are using is the sentiment R so let me press control enter and uh, that's how we are importing the library if you don't have the sentiment R package you can use the install or packages command and get the sentiment R package some text so this is the text uh, a dummy text that I have taken uh, and just enter a couple of sentences over here like uh, this is a very beautiful day I am not feeling good I hate it when it happens the product is good but expensive at this price I love you and things like that so let's try to see it control enter and then let's try to run the sentiment analysis on this these sentences like uh, this is a beautiful day I'm not feeling good so to run the command it is uh, sentiment and then some underscore text control enter so when I do a control enter uh, you can see that uh, there is uh, some analysis or the some numbers have been given so those which are in negative is basically a negative ranking so if you see in element ID 2 uh, like this I am not feeling good so not is basically negative and that's why a negative ranking is given and I hate it when it happens so the word hate is used as a sentiment and it has captured and given you the ranking point three zero so it's basically saying that uh, these two sentences 
are negative whereas this is a very beautiful day is a positive sentence and that's why a positive rank number is given and uh, these two are also positive the product is good but expensive at this price and i love you so some po better positive ranking for i love you as compared to this one so this is how the sentiment analysis basically takes place where you have a very good control over the uh, based on the numbers that is given and you can basically categorize the number so for example anything less than zero that means anything in negative is a negative sentiment sentiment and anything is uh, positive is a uh, is a positive or a good you know things or good sentences apart from this you can also do uh, deep down into categorization so for example if you have a lot of words and you have a range of let's say minus 1 to plus 1 then you can say that anywhere between 0.5 to 1 is very good or 0.8 to 1 is is extremely happy people are extremely happy anywhere between 0.5 to 0.8 is uh, very happy anywhere between 0.3 to point uh, five is is good i mean they are happy anywhere between zero to uh, zero to point three is is kind of neutral same is on the negative side so in that way you can do a good categorization and basically see your analysis in action so this is just to give you an idea about how things happen uh, when you are basically uh, doing the sentiment analysis and as you can see it's very very simple you just take the text from your data frame or from your source file and just run the command sentiment and another column will be you will be having a column sentiment which you can uh, you know add it back to your uh, send to your data frame like this so one of the things if you have noticed uh, here in case of element id this is a very beautiful day and it is finishing but in case of uh, second sentence it has basically two sentences i am not feeling good i hate it when it happens and you have got basically two rows and uh, in that way if you are taking the sentiment back uh, it will not be properly adjusted to the text rows that you will be having in your data frame so what you can do is basically send use the sentiment underscore by and just use some text and if you press control enter now this all of the uh, words or all of those sentences which is in one single quotation like this is basically uh, added to just one row so one two three four and these two values have been aggregated to 0.37 as you can see in negative and uh, you just you are just getting a combined output for this entire line so it is very helpful because generally people don't stop uh, with just one sentence and they have a supporting sentences about what happens when uh, you know a particular situation is occurring like in this case i'm not feeling good and i hate it when it happens so it's basically two sentences but uh, what you need is a cumulative uh, uh, sentiment in number so that's how you can do this by using the sentiment and the score by some text so that way uh, it's very easy to take the sentiment back to your uh, back to your uh, data frame where you want to club it with each of the individual rows all right after this uh, what you can do is uh, you can extract the uh, words which are really contributing to the to the sentiments so i think it is get underscore it's not get let me try to take i have uh help package package name is equals to sentiment r all right let me just go directly over here and use sentiments all right so that's where uh, the sentiment analysis package is and extract sentiment terms I think that's what we really need extract sentiment terms and uh, some underscore text 
control enter and as you can see for element underscore id sentence id uh, here is the word so negative is basically hate expansive and positive is beautiful feeling good love good so this is very helpful if you are uh, if you are trying to get an understanding from your text about what are those positive and negative words are so that's that's how you can uh, very quickly you know get the output back into your data set or back into your data frame for further understanding apart from this what you can do is uh, you can look at the get sentences so that's basically an optimized way of uh, getting the sentences from your text or for, from your data frame so for example this is how the sum text is what you can do is uh, if it is if you want to get it for your sentiment analysis you can get some underscore text control enter and that's how a list has been created based on the sentences that you have and you can see each of the item and then you can basically supply it to your uh, sent for your sentiment analysis uh, it is especially useful when you are doing the or taking the data from the data frame and you just do a dollar sign and say data frame dollar some text and you get an optimized way of uh, extracting the sentences into a form of uh, where you can use it for the sentiment analysis so i think that's pretty much all uh, i wanted to give you a basic understanding about uh, the sentiment analysis how things happen however you have a couple of other uh, uh, commands like for example one of the inter interesting thing is plotting the sentiments so for example we have created a sentiment over here let's try to plot it and see it in action now how it shows so we can just say plot press control enter and as you can see it start with positive go to negative and then again positive and nearby to positive as it happens over here positive negative positive and nearby to a positive sign so that's how also you can see the dip or any you know um, fluctuations into the emotions of the people and plot it over a uh, you know chart and get a better understanding so i will suggest you go and look at these uh, these these uh, plots or other functions a little bit in depth and uh, we will be using as and when it is required and i will give you an explanation but if you are interested in looking at these this is a very small list i think anywhere between 15 20 functions but uh, worth looking at because it may provide you a solution which you are looking here and there and not able to find it so so i'll meet you then in the new video with uh, a new topic on the sentiment analysis